Hello and welcome to the Quiver Channel. I am Jason, your host. So, I think we should talk about coping strategies and how this has made an amazing difference. I mean, I. How can I put this? The ability to actually get out there and do all the things that I'm doing at the moment. I mean, coming to a hospital, one of the most stressful and triggering places for me, with all that happened with me and all that happened with Paula and my PTSD in there, let alone everything else I'm dealing with, the fact that I am actually able to do this, come here, talk to nurses, be there for my mum, shows that for me, this was a game changer again. Just like VR headsets was a game changer and allowed me to speak in public and socialize with people. This, this has just, is a life-changing event. Everything I am doing out here is an absolute challenge that would have been a nightmare on foot that would have been some of it even impossible to do and now I can not only leave the house I can visit friends I can be there for people it's absolutely crazy just gonna I was gonna talk on discord but I'm gonna shut down discord for now because no one's around so we'll hang up on Discord so I can just talk to all of you instead it's absolutely amazing that I am able to do this I now have a life outside of my safe space at home something I thought I never would I expected my entire life, my entire future to be revolving around just being surviving and adapting the house to my mental health that was it and now look at what I've done where I am right now out on the street alone travelling from place to place And even though I am facing a dark time, dark subject, I am still me, I am still happy. I, this, it being out, it's like, it's crazy, but it's amazingly wonderful and special. It is a life-changing event. We. I thought that my world, when I thought that my world, when was constricting even more. I mean, think about it. When Howler died, my world constricted. When Trevor died, it constricted even more. When and when my mum died, basically, the only connections I had, apart from all of you online and my Discord and that, apart from all the external stuff, within my own frame of reference, within my own household, once my mum died, that was it. That was me stuck in place and had people having to come to me or to use technology to talk to everybody, which is fine. But now, 
I am actually free. I can leave the house. I can go places. And I am very, very happy. So even though I'm facing massive, 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 massive things, I am in a splendid for a situation now. A situation where my future has possibilities. My future has places for me to go. A future that is unwritten. Whereas I completely and totally believed that the only home, only thing I was going to be able to do in my future was build up my home, nothing else. It is, it is absolutely crazy. What I can do now, and it shows an example of. You can never count yourself out. You can never. No matter how dark, no matter how bad things are, you can't count yourself out because you don't know what tomorrow's going to bring you. And I said, if anybody, anybody, I mean anybody, had said anything about this, I still think I'm going to get the... rear facing camera for this. And what we're gonna do is uh, go around this corner. Go on here. And off we go. I'm slowly learning this route. But yeah, I, I am facing some of the darkest stuff in my life. But my future, my possibilities are almost endless now. It isn't just that I can go 50 miles on this. I now have the option of going further by taking transport. Now the thing is, this vehicle is not meant for transport, unfortunately. It is in no way meant for transport. <laughs> it is no way meant for transport because... Oh, I need to get both forward. Just had to reposition. <laughs> It is, it can't really fit on a bus, it's too big, and I can't really get anywhere. I am going to have to get a secondary one of these that is a smaller one that can still cope with my weight and everything, but is a smaller one so that I can get on the thing. That is the next goal, the future goal. When the money for the piebacks comes in, I'm going to get a second-hand um, Revo, Pride Revo, and that one can actually go. It only has 14 miles range, and it only and it goes um, only four miles an hour max. But that one will be able to get places that this can't. That will be used when I want to get on the train or on the bus. I mean, it's it's stunning that I'll have. That, that is my options for the future. So yeah.
So my future is amazing. So my sister is looking after my mum and keeping an eye on my mum till about 4pm and then I'm going to come back up at that time. I'm going to just go across here, out of the way and then onto this pavement here yeah. That's good Everything is golden few bumps here and there but we are doing well I'm going to go along here and look for a place to cross over here Cross there, get over, back down to here. Hmm. So if we just check on things, I'm just going to check this down there. Get onto here. So yeah. My future could be a lot worse. A lot worse. Well, let's see if we can get past all the vehicles of happiness that seem to like to take up the pavement. So yeah, homeward bound, spend some time with the doggies, talk to some friends on Discord, have something to eat. Probably a good idea to have a proper meal and then I can um, have a milkshake just before coming back here tonight and spend two or three hours 
with my mum tonight. Running speed, Mr. Sulu. <coughs> and a general wander towards home. No idea what time it is. Eleven fifty four. Eleven fifty four. I'm just going to stop in a sec. And have a little bit of a drink. Always got to make sure I bring drink with me and everything else. <coughs> All right. Let's go. Let's get going. Let's get ready to rumble. I prefer blowing bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the air. I mean, the fact that I can sing, the fact that I can do things on this, that I am not completely and totally wrecked by where I've been and what I'm doing. It's just, I'll keep talking about it, but when you can have disabilities, you develop coping strategies. And over time, you build those coping strategies up so that you can survive and cope and live because I'm not just surviving now I'm living turbos turbos mass maximum turbos I'm going to have to cross over here a little bit here and over this way cross over Running speed, Mr. Sulu.
Almost. It's a bit of a convoluted way to go, isn't it? We can cross, we can go. So I wonder how empty Stoke will be to, this time on a Sunday, I mean a Saturday. We shouldn't be too bad. Stoke. Looks pretty empty. Turbos. And so yeah, I'm I'm happy. Even though I'm facing all these problems, my future looks has an, has options, which is something I didn't think I had many. There used to be a bank down here I used to go to, but they shut most of the bank in Stoke. <laughs> 